Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to the Boozy Planorama. So tonight, tonight we will be, I've got like crazy hair going on here. Uh, tonight we will be planning away in our little little planners that we've got going on and uh, figuring out what we're going to be doing for the next month or the next mm -hmm. couple months. And some of us will be drinking and some of us will not be drinking. Well, everyone should be drinking, even if it's water, because it's important to stay hydrated. So right there you go. All right. So before we get started, I would just like to say hello. I'm Lisa Daly. Today we're doing this on my channel. Carol and I generally switch off. And I have, of course, with me the lovely and talented Carol Brown. Wait this way. There you go. And the awesome Sky Haggis. So let's do a quick intro before we get started. And then we will welcome our friends to the Boozy Planorama. And then we'll get some planning happening. So yeah hashtag stickers and liquor yeah all right caro how about you start first with our little introductions yeah sure hi my name is Kara brown i am an urban fantasy author and the owner of mad raptor productions i am here today to do things <laughs> <laughs> um so kind of what i'm working on right now is um it's it's called the i am page um, and so when you're talking about making like good habits and goals and stuff, you're trying to write out the things that I am. So for example, I have, I am a lifelong learner. I am fit and healthy, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then what you do is you break that into three tasks that make that a thing that happens. And then you mm -hmm. decide if that happens on a weekly, daily or monthly basis. So I love that. yeah, when I get done, I'll hold it up. Um, but right now I'm kind of like, what am I right now? So Who I'll be doing you? some I'll be doing some soul searching while I'm here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't thank me for having you. You're you're the other, like you're the co-host of this. This is our thing. Do I thank you for having me when we're we're doing it on your channel when it's your week? When you know, I don't have I don't have enough awareness when I'm the host <laughs> to know or not. <laughs> I know, right? I don't think you have to thank you. I thank you for having me. How about that? Aww. We thank each other. This is a great thankful thank circle. You. I know. Speaking of people, we think Sky's here. Sky's going to do some planning with us today. Sky, what are you working on today? I am trying to catch up on my bullet journal. I just moved to Montana. It's I've been here officially a month now, a little over a month, and uh, I'm so far behind on everything. So oh, I'm playing oh catch up still. Oh my gosh, I know that feeling. Now, I just moved three years ago almost. Uh, no, it is three years because we moved right around, like we moved right before Memorial Day three years ago. We still have boxes that are not yet unpacked. Most of them are, but we still have a few stragglers. You know how that goes. And um, yeah, I'm just as disorganized. But I will say, I will be planning tonight. I will be planning. Vacation. I'm going to take a month off over the summer. I'm going to be a slacker. I'm going to go to the movies. I'm going to hang out at the beach. I'm going to, it's going to be different than my life in that I'm not going to get up in the morning. How about that? So you said, you month. said Lisa and slacker and I'm just looking at you like, no, I've met you. <laughs> I know. Okay. Well, I won't be a slacker because that's not really in my DNA, but I will be doing lots of fun activities like getting out in the world and like having a good time and relaxing, like power relaxing. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing. Power relaxing. We have friends here tonight. Let's say hello to everybody who's here. MM Ward. Hello. We're so glad to see you today. I'm so glad. What are you going to be working on today? What kind of planner is everybody using? What is it you want to plan out? Sorry, getting into the getting into the fun things there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna know. try to like get the whole summer going. Are we All good? Right, Lisa, you're okay. No, you're you're roboting on me a little bit. It frightens me. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me just say this: there's a massive thunderstorm outside which I'm sort of glad about because it's been very dry pretty much all over the country. And so I'm very glad to see some water coming down, but also it's inconvenient timing because sometimes my 
sometimes my power goes out. But the good thing is, well, the bad thing is you wouldn't be able to do the comments because there's no way to do like a co-host thing, is there? On, no. There should be. One day. So that would be bad. The good thing, though, is that you could just jam away and until my internet came back on. All right, let's hope that doesn't happen tonight. Oh my goodness. Shit, it's an adventure, that's for sure. Shannon's here. Hello, hey, Shannon. Shannon. We're glad you made it to Planorama tonight. Alexa's here. Hello. Yeah. He says, how is everyone tonight? I'm great. I have my little mimosa going tonight, which yeah. is, um, uh, I almost had Mai Tais tonight. I should have brought this thing for you guys because it was hilarious. Several years ago, my mom and I had these great Mai Tais when we were out and we tried to recreate them. And my the Mai Tai recipe I had like in a drink book wasn't it. And so we experimented all week and then we finally found a recipe that was really fantastic. But we modified it a little bit, and there's literally a post-it note in the recipe book that says, add pineapple juice and something, else. pineapple juice and um, and grenadine, or you'll get too drunk. That was literally, <laughs> <laughs> literally the note, which I, which I had completely forgotten about. And it just has this little smiley face, and I had completely forgotten about it. And we, like, laughed about that all week long. So anyway, uh, MM Ward says hydrate or dihydrate. True. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yep. Caro says, hello. Hello, Caro. So nice to see you. JC is here. Hello, JC. We're so glad to see you. <gasps> CO Savvy is here. Hello. Yay. All right, you guys, I'm excited. So I'm going to be planning the summer. I, um, yeah, I have felt like I've had kind of a lot of stuff go a little bit crazy the last uh, couple of weeks where I've just sort of been in a hole. And um, so I'm trying to like dig back out of it. I'm pretty sure the vacation is going to be the cure, though. Just saying. Yeah. All right. So what kind of plan are you working with today, Miss Caro? Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Um, so before I was actually using, I have it right here before I was actually using the Hobonichi. Uh -huh. um, and at the time when I was using the Hobonichi, I had a lifestyle that warranted this much stuff. Um, but then, you know, during the last room where we were together, I was like, I am nowhere near this busy. I don't need this much in my life and I'm just wasting pages at this point. Um, so I actually went back to, uh, probably a two super organized traveler's notebook system. Um, so I actually, the notebooks I have in here, this is my, this is my agenda mm -hmm. and I've really customized the agenda because one of the things that I realize is that I'm just not that busy anymore. You know, I don't mm -hmm. have, I don't have the company, grad school, YouTube, all the other stuff. Right. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I simplified right, it You're all just down. running a company. I'm that's just all. Company. Just that. Yeah, okay. You know, all. you know what? My people run themselves really well. Like I, like all I have to do is just come in and read the daily messages and be like, they're fine. They don't need me to come and micromanage them. And then I go to work. It's great. <laughs> that is great. That is um, great. But one thing that I did do that's a little different um, from normal. So I don't know if you want to make me bigger or not. Oh, oh. Yes, of course. I want to make you bigger. There you go. Ta-da. Um, so if you can hear me, um, so right over here is basically like my daily agenda. And if I have something going on in the morning, the afternoon or at night, if that's where it goes, then this is my little, like my journal page. I write like three sentences about like my day. And then this is basically my daily tasks. Um, and this is basically all the stuff I try to get done in a week and I'll go back one page so you guys can see what it looks like. It looks kind of like this when I get done with it. So I'll put a dot and then draw it back over and say it's over. But if I didn't finish it, then I do like these little asterisk things that basically mm -hmm. say I have to do it next week. Um, and that's worked out pretty well. And then on the top, um, this is like my habit tracker of things I'm trying to do. And if you guys are looking at it going, where did I get a notebook like this? I had to cut these pages, yo. I cut them. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah this is all me. And if, yeah. And if you decide that you want to do this, what I would recommend is that you um, you cut the pages and then take the front flap and then tape it over here. Because if you don't, you're going to have like this ugly like thing right here that nobody wants uh. to see. So it hides it a little bit. 
So oh. look at you. Yeah. You are so fancy. I'm sitting here nodding as you're saying all this, and then I realize no one can see me, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We're all nodding, even if no one can see us. So you're doing your active listening skills. I really appreciate that you demonstrate mm -hmm. that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know I do my best. Okay, so uh, hold on. CO Savvy has an interesting fact. She says, I'm always so interested, envious of people who move. I never moved in my life. Fun fact, my mother and grandmother grew up here. I super love that. Moving sucks. As much as it feels like, oh, it'd be such a big adventure to go somewhere else. It's the worst. It's the worst. The logistics yeah, it's are awful. terrible. Yeah. They are. Would, there is... <laughs> I would yeah. rather be in CEO's place and just travel than move. There you go. Yeah, moving. But, you know, it's always good to have an adventure. So I kind of get that. All right, RC is here. Hello, RC. We're very glad you made it. JC wants to know if she's hearing bones. Do we hear bones in the background? Um. You're hearing all of them. They all come in and out of the office. Um, Bones and Ranger are sleeping on the floor, and Kissy is off causing mischief somewhere in my house. I'm pretty confident she's half coyote at this point. <laughs> that could be true. That could be true. CEO Savvy says Lisa Mimoso, Carol Brownlicker, and Sky Podcast. I'd be the good Brownlicker, too. Uh, you would be. You would be. All right. And RC says me water. Uh, M.M. Ward, I'm remaking my planner because my youngest giant mixed breed four-month-old puppy ate my Clever Fox planner. Are you serious? That's, <gasps> that's a really expensive snack. That's a really, right? Oh, it's probably delicious. I'm still using my Erin Condren planner, which I absolutely love. It is awesome. I do have, like, an external to-do list because it's adorable. Look, see? It's beautiful. Um, I love thank it. Thank you. It's cool. I like to color coordinate my planner or my to-do list with my office. Um, yeah. Well, I started doing my to-do list in my planner, and I really felt like it like was too cluttery for me. So my little to-do list coordinates, but then I'm sort of doing a rolling list like every day, yeah. which I love. All right. Yeah. One thing I like about this is that basically, like, when I get to the bottom of the page, I'm like, I can't do anything else this week. I'm done. I've, I've, used, <laughs> I've used all my, my spots. That's it. If you're at the bottom of the planner, then it's time to take a break. All right. Alexa is working on an HB90 planner tonight, working on the rest of June, starting to brainstorm for my Q3 plans. Look at you go. Very nice. I am not familiar with this planner, Carol, queen of all planners. Do you know anything about the HB90? <sighs> The answer is maybe. Um, I remember seeing it in a video and going, that's way too busy for me, but hold on. Okay. It's, um, it's from Heart Breathings. It's the one that she made. That's oh. Nice. That's okay. why I said it's too busy for me. HB90 is Heart Breathings 90 page planner. Is that right? The 90 Count day one, yeah. It's yeah. Like a, a what did I say? 90 page? 90 days. That's what I she's, mean. And she's got it on Etsy if you guys want it. Shameless uh. plug for Heart Breathings. Oh, very nice, very nice. RC says Carol's a constant reminder of how disorganized I am. She's, I don't even say anything. <laughs> she's an icon for us all. Okay, Alexa agrees moving does suck. I've done two international moves and they are super stressful, right? Mm -hmm. Moving international, well, you know, you've done that. I've done that. Sky, have you ever moved? Yes, okay. So I'm international. To here, so yeah. Okay. I've done, I've done international and national. None yeah. of them are fun. They're not very no. fun. International is no. harder, though, because you have to give up more of your stuff back and forth. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, CEO Savvy. We always envy what we ha do have. That's a lot. That's true sometimes, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, RC says, I moved nine times growing up. Oh, that's rough. Rough, rough, rough. All right. Uh, Alexa says it's Sarah Cannon's planner. That's heart readings, yeah. right? Yes, yes Sarah Kim from Heart Readings. Quarterly, that makes sense, 90 days. Mm -hmm. Hello, NL Heiser. Uh, finalizing the planner I'm launching for next year. For now, I'm just using an at-a-glance 
Uh, do y'all do these live planner oramas often? Why, yes, we do. Thank you for asking. We do the boozy planner orama the first Sunday of the month at 8 p.m. Eastern time every month. It's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, you'll have to tell us all about your planner. Yeah, we have questions. We yeah, have planners here. Definitely, I right? I, so I is this like, want to know about your paper quality. Like, I need mm. that 160 paper. Okay, not that 120. <laughs> right? We oh, are. Uh, I like the 120. You get more pages. Uh, I don't know. Like, as long as it, like, okay, so my one issue with me using these notebooks is that it bleeds through. That's like my one issue. But it's kind of like I have to pick, I have I to pick like where I win or don't. So these have 100 DSM, and actually this is beautifully perfect for me. But I don't do a lot of artsy stuff. I don't draw. I don't paint. I don't do any of that. I just write. Uh, and I might use markers. My markers. Don't tell don't me that. Stuff. I already got this set up. <laughs> you don't use your. You don't use marker. I'm like, what? You don't use. Markers. I do use markers, but you like, use they don't go through this. I uh, this has beautifully heavy paper, which is perfect for me. It's so substantial. I love it. I absolutely love it. I am like such a paper nerd. Like the quality of paper is so important to me. And I like like a thick, heavy stock, like really nice, good quality paper. I just, and I don't I just care need to be able to use my planner. I just need to use my <laughs> planner as a bludgeoning weapon, okay? If somebody's coming at me and it's only me and my book, I want right. to be able to like whack them with it and be safe. <laughs> Right. Like a or a dinner plate, right? Exactly. You want to have a little snack dinner on plate. yours? Okay. I plan to learn how to be a better planner. Meta, I know, but I suck at planning. Blame New Year's resolution making for that. I I think everybody can learn to be a better planner. Don't you think so? Everybody plans differently. And I think sure. one, of the, one of the problems that happens that results in imposter syndrome is that we look at somebody else and we're like, well, they do it this way and I can't do it this way. Therefore, right. I must be a failure. And you all have to stop doing that to yourselves. <laughs> right. That's so true. Because uh, it really, I think the key to planning is to figure out the thing that really works for you. And mm -hmm. as an example, I'm going to tell you about my kitchen pantry. So I have, I know, right? Don't laugh. Kitchen pantry is always a disaster. We would clean it out. We'd organize it. We'd be like, tell everybody in the family, okay, we're doing it like this. And then, you know, like a couple months later, it's back to like you open the doors and you get like a chip explosion. Oh and, it, and it was just like, and it was a, like crazy source of frustration for me all the time like because i was always the one who was trying to cook and couldn't find anything and stuff just randomly stuffed in there and nobody cared about it except for me so when my mom asked me like what i wanted for christmas last year i was like you got you're gonna think this is super dirty but i want these little uh like little lazy susans for the pantry and all these little baskets and that was my christmas gift she got me all this pantry organization basically bins little uh white bins that we just got like from target that had holes in them so you can see what's inside and a couple of these like lazy susan things for like cans and jars of pasta sauce and things like that that spin around so there's nothing that gets lost in the back of your pantry mm -hmm. this was christmas it's now june the pantry still looks awesome <laughs> right and my theory about this is because it was so because the baskets are fairly small and you just have like just breakfast stuff in there like just cereal not even cereal just like oatmeal and like very specific or just pastas or just this or just that and it was so easy for everybody else to do and it was so obvious where everything went that everybody did it which is like what okay i don't know what this was from Oh, when Girl. I said when I said I want to pick it up and hit somebody with it, like uh, a bludgeoning weapon. Yeah. Yes. All right, that was hilarious. Anyway, that's it. And I think that that's like the secret to planning, right? You just have to figure out the thing that works for you. And it doesn't matter if nobody else understands it as long as it gets you going. I feel like you yeah. need a ponytail holder tonight. All right, here we go. It's See us Navi. Just want to be free. Yes, good paper quality, good stationary pens with no bleed through. I'm literally taking notes here. <laughs> so 
super secret tip. If you have good paper, then you don't bleed through. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. All right, I'm, oh, thank you. 12 month, 160, oh, 160. And Ooh. a four, and she's not skimming on pages. All right, we're gonna need to see that. We're gonna have a little, yeah. All right, Miss Heiser, I think that we need to have a chit chat. Message one of us so we can so we can see this planner. I'm super excited. Twelve month is good. That's what I always like to do. And one sixty paper. That's a nice heavy weight. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, all right. MM Ward. My planner is remerged with my symptom and habit tracker book, decorated with bees and flowers and drawings of trees. I love that. I love that. Love it. All right. JC says my I spent so long using blah blah blah. JC says that my issue is I spent so long using regular notebooks and notepads to plan stuff because I couldn't afford the fancy planners that now that when I can afford them, it's hard to get used to using them. You don't have to. It's not the law. You know what? This pet planner. Wait, hold on. I have to show you guys my planner. I love to see your planner. I know, right? Look what I put on the front. It's all like stuff I love and like book stuff and there's my puppy and there's my sweetie. So, um, yeah, hold on. I can't put the buttons. <laughs> so I really like the Erin Condren planner, but mostly because they're fairly simple and it's really easy to make them anything you want. Like the overview. I really do. I'm um, yeah. But I don't like to put my to-do list in there because I like it to be all clean and more of like an overview of my plans. Yeah, I think that's kind of why I have like this multi-notebook system thing because um, I know it sounds really weird, but just having it all in one giant book for some reason just like felt like ominous. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. right? Overwhelming almost. I know you were the reason actually that I, that I started having – that I got the Erin Condren planner because before I used everything in my big giant sort of life planner mm -hmm. and you were the one who said something to the effect of like, if it's really important, it should have its own planner. Mm -hmm. And so now I have, now this little planner is my publishing planner and I just do my publishing stuff in there. And it's so much easier for me to be strategic. This is, this is what happens when you spend too much time with me, you get a planner. Yeah. And and it, <laughs> <laughs> well, that could be true. But now like dentist appointments and things like that are on the big, uh, on the big, pl I'm looking down at it because it's on the floor right now, actually, because uh, I needed more room for stickers. And um, yeah, so anyway, okay, hold on. I, I have, yeah. All right, NL Heiser, exactly. I couldn't find one that worked for me. Good, yep, we've all been there. JC, try bullet journaling. It can help you find the right layout for you. Yeah, I was about the to say this is technically bullet journaling, what I did here. There That's we go. I exactly. I do. Hold on. Let me find hold a good on. page that actually shows a good example. Um, here we go. This is literally the extent of my planning. This way. I, okay. do, I do it like a journal where I talk about places I went, birthdays, events, and stuff, and then I do a little bit of journaling, and I decorate with stickers, and that's it. Nice. Very nice. All right. Ooh, JC says that's my other thing too. I like different ones for different purposes, but never one that has everything I like. <laughs> you might have to make your own JC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love what Carol said about everybody planning differently. True, true. Seeing a Bujo planning video with super detailed planning and neat doodles. I got intimidated. I just have to find my own way. You know what? Yeah. Some people can do those doodles and some people can't. There are stickers that make the doodles for you. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Like you look, look, mine looks like doodles, but they're not. They're just stickers. That's it. Yeah, I made yeah. this layout because I was like, I need something that's like, you know, very kiss, you know, like okay. keep it simple, stupid. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. It doesn't take me a lot of effort to do and like, like I already got this whole thing set up in probably like a couple of days and that was just me passively doing it. So oh, that is awesome. All right. Uh, look at this. We have a Kara love. MM Ward says, thank you, Carol Brown. I took the acorn year Aww. encouragement to heart on June 10th. I will self-pub my eighth book since December 10th. What? 
2021 keeps kicking me, but I'm planning my forest. I am so proud of you. That is me too. awesome. Well done. Very nice. If you guys don't know, she actually reads some passages from her books. And, like, I've said this multiple times, but M.M. Ward has, like, this voice where I just kind of want to, like, curl up and just kind of, like, you read some more to me, please. That's what <laughs> I need in my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, JC says, I like planners, and I always like seeing other people's planners. just takes getting used to. I have, like, four for all different things. That seems reasonable. Yeah. I should probably good. get your picture and put this one up on Instagram at some point. I'm trying to do social media again. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> it's it is hard. It is hard. Ooh, yeah, me too. Um, yeah, oh, it is hard. My mom was here for a long time. She lives in Denver. She came in November and quarantined in our house for two weeks so she could hang out with us. And um, and then she just left. And what I realized was if I'm writing, then I, then I did not have like enough time to spend with my mom. Like I really didn't have time where I was spending with her because I had all my other kind of life stuff. And so I just realized like she's been here for six months and I hadn't really hung out with her and I really wanted to. So I thought like, I'm just going to not do anything right now. I'm just going to hang out with my mom. And we like had the best time. So my, I have to kind of update my planner to readjust all the goals that I had for May, mm -hmm. but I'm really glad that I just chilled out and hung. yeah, we did like all these like creative projects that we, that I've been putting off that she'd been like, we like to do stuff together. And then the other thing is that I got these like crazy, amazing pool floats <laughs> that, <laughs> that are, um, they, they're, wait, hold on. I have to see if I can find one actually. So okay. for like, the, like April ish, it was too cold to be in the pool. And, um, and so we, and we have a pool heater, but it's propane. So it's approximately a million dollars to heat it. And so we, and so I found these pool floats that are like these super duper crazy pool floats where you're completely out of the water, completely out of the water. That's so, almost defeats the purpose of going to the pool. I feel the but, need to say that. <laughs> no, well, but only if it's too, but only if it's too, well, here, hold on. I'm going to share, I'm going to share this with you so you can see it. You can see how awesome it is. I can't All right. wait. Do not be shocked at Christmas and the baby gave way. And I, it, you're totally out of the water which me, the hot guy is not included. Um, you're totally out of- I don't of want it if he's not there. Why? <laughs> you're totally out of the water. And it's awesome because you can read, like you can take a book. It's got a little cup holder. You can be out there with your, you know, your glass of uh, water or your cup of water or something in bubbly and read or I was editing out there one day and I was like this is the I've never spent I think more than like 20 bucks for a pool float but these were totally worth it although now it's warm now it's a hundred million degrees in Florida as you know because you live here and um so now I'm like putting a towel a wet towel on it so that I like stay nice and cool yeah yeah I missed it because she said she had a storm in her area and the first thing I did was look out my window <laughs> Um, it looks like it's okay now. We had a little rain. It's still approximately the same temperature as hell here today. It's very hot. I'm, ooh, I have a ponytail holder. We are in luck. Yes. Yes. So well, the good to, news. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was I was going to get you back on track and ask what your goals for this month were. Well, that's the thing. So my mom just went home, and I am going to try to fit now i took you know like three weeks off of writing um i'm gonna try to get finished with my rom-com at the end of june i'm i was on track previously and i did my goals were not like they were not super aggressive so i think if i really bust it that i can um, that I can get my book done by June, which is great because then I can sort of let it rest. I can send it to my agent and I can still take off like a couple weeks in July and a couple weeks of, in August. Nice. I know. Yes. Yes. 
All right, so what about you? Um, my focus is actually with Mad Raptor Productions. So like part of what I do in the planner is like I have like a focusing, like what am I focusing on? So that's like my main goal. Mm -hmm. So I try to make sure that everything I work on, not everything, but like 60% of it is directed towards that. So like I had to bite the bullet and go find a different cover artist because I was like, my current one is too like bogged down with real life and everything else. And not their fault. It happens. But it was just kind of one of those, like, do I wait until your life gets sorted or do I just go find somebody else? So I was like, I'm just going to go find somebody else. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've like missed a lot of stuff. Like I sort of conked out like the last week. And so I would like to get back on track with social media, with um, the guy, the thing that I do every Sunday where I do some sort of like craft improvement. So I take a, a course every Sunday and I didn't do that for the last three weeks. So part of it is I just want to get back into the ha into the habit of doing those things, which I'm not really far out of the habit of that just because, you know, like I said, it was a couple weeks that I took off with my mom. Um, and I was sick before that because I got my second vaccine and it kind of kicked my butt a little bit. I remember because I was like, are you alive? And you were like, I breathe. And I was like, that's a plus. We'll go with it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, I am not alive, but I hope to be alive soon. Uh, yeah, it was kind of bad. It kind of kicked my butt a little bit. So I'd still go back and do it again. And I feel great mm -hmm. now. But yeah, it was just, yeah. So, uh, but I, the other thing is I am planning a redo of my website and Amy and I have been go going back and forth and mostly it's been Amy coming back and not me. And so, oh. so, so I need to like get back and make some progress with that. And then I have just like some other social media things like kind of, and also last year, all summer long, I did uh, giveaways like a couple times a month, summer, summer beach read giveaways, uh, in my newsletter mm -hmm. and I want to do it again. And I'm like, Hey, it's June. If I really want to do that, I got to get going on that. So that is another part of what I'm going to sort of organize and plan. I have not done a newsletter since January. Like I know I'm subscribed to your newsletter. I haven't done one and I feel kind of bad but at the same time. I didn't know what to write. I was kind of like life sucks friends. Um, <laughs> I'll come back later. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, yeah, I know that feeling. I really do. I feel so, it. Yeah. So, but I'm thinking that once I get, because one of the things, so Sky declared a word war on me. Ooh. How does she that got, work? It's basically trying to write your book in three months, you know, the yeah. Stephen King equivalent. Really? Yeah. So I have been working on that week by week. Um, just because I haven't figured out how to work on it day by day, but I'm at 10,000 words right now, which probably is nowhere close to where you are, Sky. But I'm plugging away at it. I haven't That's started yet because I'm not starting until July. Oh. Oh. Well, then you have a really big head start. Very, very nice. Very well, it's nice. three. It's it's still three months. So, like, if yeah. she gets hers done sooner than I do, then she still wins. <laughs> very nice. All right, we have a couple more, Ali. Hello, darling. How are you? We're very glad to see you. She says, see you. Hi. Hello. Uh, to doodle. Mine is just lines. If you want to doodle, you can, but yours not required. Look who's here. It's Aphrodite. And I love that avatar. That it's is very Julia. nice. Yeah, I really like that. Aphrodite, good to see you. JC says, June 10th is my birthday. What? Happy birthday. Wait, that is coming up, right? What is that? Yeah. Like Thursday. That's, yeah. Because I saw her right. I saw her when she said it, and I immediately went and wrote it in my plan. <laughs> You're so good. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right. Emma Mord says, Carol Brown, my middle calls me from the Navy school sometimes and asks me to read to her Aww. before bed when she's homesick. Oh, that's so that's sweet. So sweet. That's so sweet. Uh, JC, I have to set up some social media stuff this week, and social media marketing is super intimidating. Intimidating. Yeah, it sure is. So you feel like, like on one hand, you go, But although our Schusterman, oop, I just disappeared. Uh, Michelle Schusterman does not do like, she's not messed with any of that stuff, which I admire 
and also I'm terrified to do. Yeah, she's like, no, I don't do it. I was like, no. Well, it amazes me because uh, she's traditionally published. I'm traditionally published. The only reason I started with social media is because my publisher was like, oh, you have to have it. You have to have it. You have to have it. And I didn't want, I was like not particularly interested in Facebook or doing any of that stuff. And I, I only did it because I was pressured. And now I like, I really like Instagram. I will say that. Mm -hmm. So I do not, and I really like Goodreads. So I'll say that. But Facebook, I'm really challenged with. You know, I don't really do a lot on Facebook outside of just being available for communications on there. I think yeah. Instagram and YouTube have usually been my bread and butter for social media, which I'm working on it. One of the things I have set down in my planner for next week is to make a video. So we'll see if I actually do that or not. Ooh, I'm excited about that. All right. Yeah. StreamYard is giving me trouble. It will not let me go. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can get... It will not let me go below RC's or JC's oh, comment. I know it says we have new comments, but it will not let me go any longer, any farther. Don't refresh whatever you do. Then we'll. No, God, well, you remember when I did that? Oh my gosh, Oops. guys. It's okay. You could be like me and say that you're going to end the stream and then just close the window, but your stream's not <laughs> ended yet. I do that like all the time. <laughs> And everyone's like, we're just going to hang out in case she comes back. All right. I can't, I, I can't do it. Won't let me, ah, here, maybe if I post a comment. Hey, StreamYard is a pain. There we go. <laughs> I love it. Nope, I can't see it. All right. I'm going to have to, I'll have to like go on to YouTube or something and go check out like comments otherwise we're kind of stuck. oh there it is i see it now did it come back up all right yeah i see it in the comments um let's see <laughs> co wants to get that float i need to get that float lisa i don't <laughs> like it when wet clothes dry on me so i'll lounge on that until i'm ready to jump in the pool see then, that's what i yeah. do and then I, Aphrodite says, I'm so off track with everything I need to do, my writing world, and I'm seriously not considering even trying. That, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, go on. No, I was just going to say that's kind of what, like, yeah. I, I feel that way, too. And the crazy thing is, it's not like I took seven months off. I took, like, a chunk of May off. Of, of just like, okay, I'm not going to, like, I still did some things publishing related, but, but I also had like some family stuff I had to deal with. And so I just didn't get any writing done and I didn't get much in the way of like social media done or other projects related to writing. I tried really hard on mine. Um, let's see. RC says, my goal is to finish this horror novella past the halfway point last night. Well done, sir. Well done. Nice. I'm sorry I cannot throw your comment up on the thing. I do not know what's going on with it. Aphrodite says she misses my, my newsletter. Uh, one day it will come back. I just don't know when. You know. It's like the jackalope. You never know when it's going to show up. No, you never do. Sio says a taco raptor versus a dragon ninja. Who will write more words? I'm so invested it's not even funny. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll probably say Sky will at this point, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, 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 oh, and Aphrodite says, I'm not to be a downer, but I just want to cry. I feel so bogged down. And it's not just me. You know, like, I think that 2021 is just 2020 that just kept going and, like, it never ended. And we were all kind of hoping, like, the like the clock would turn and it would be, like, you know, past midnight and things would get better. And now, you know, stuff and things. <sighs> Yeah, I I do I do feel like 2021 is better than 2020 was. Like I do not think it magically happened when the clock turned, but I feel like overall, by the time we get to the end of 2021, it will have been better than 2020. Of course, that's a very low bar. <laughs> yeah, it really <laughs> very, is. very low bar. Like I feel like my mother-in-law's uh you know chili oh no is that me yeah that was you 
Uh, it's okay. You're back now. Heather's here. Hello, Heather. It's good to see you. Hello, Heather. Sorry, we can't put any throw any comments up on the screen. We don't know why. It's Stream yard. to you. Stream yard. I keep feeling like, okay, what if I do stuff? Oh, there's that. Private yeah, chat. Help. And then me. MM Ward is saying uh, December 187, 2020. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's true. And right. then in AL, NL is basically saying my last two weeks have sucked, but I can tell it's getting better and I'm coming out I'm coming out on the other end. Well done. Well done. Yes. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. It's not Af great. And then Aphrodite says, Happy right, I'm gonna go nap and rewatch the rest later. You have a good nap, ma'am. You have a good nap. Mm -hmm. One day we'll find out what's going on with your We're conversation. Oh my gosh, it's the worst. All right, hold on. I'm gonna just go to YouTube so I can pull it up. So you're gonna work back on getting in the swing of things. What about you, Sky? I'm still like, I'm kind of, I'm, where Aphrodite is now is kind of where I was like a couple weeks ago. I really had like a good, mental breakdown because i was just so overwhelmed with everything i was like i'm so far behind on everything plans didn't go the way i wanted them to and i'm just like uh but i can see the light at the end of the tunnel now and i'm slowly working my way there you know i feel like that would be a great talking point that would be a good talking point why don't we talk about um when things don't go as we wanted them to go and how we bounce back from that this seems like a great topic it is a great topic, especially as we all have our planners right in front of us. So you go first, Miss Caro. Why are you going to put me on the spot? Okay. Because um, I'm drinking. Well, you're, oh, okay, I'm the designated <laughs> speaker. I understand. Okay. Caro, you will make the most sense for you. are the least inebriated. Therefore, you will speak for all of us. Um, That's right. Okay. Um, I guess for me, one of the things that I had to do when I decided to get back on the horse, so to speak, is I had to, uh, it's, it's called a, a task reset or a tax or a task detox, um, depends on who you talk to, but I'm sure everybody knows from last year, it was like, my to-do list was like really freaking long. Like it was like a piece of paper that you get from the grocery store, like that long receipt that they hand you and tell you to have a nice day. That was my daily task list. Uh -huh. Um, and so one of the things that I did was that I, I didn't do all the things I used to do. I just put one thing on there and it started off with something really easy, like brush the dogs, right? Like my dogs mm -hmm. need to get brushed. So, and then as I got used to being able to do one thing, I would add another thing and then another, and I kind of would gauge my mental energy and how well I was able to stick with it. Um, and I mean, it wasn't, I'm not going to lie and be like, and every day it got a little better. Like some days it would get better and then it would just reset. And then some days it would get better. And then I just not try for a week. Um, but, right. but it's, you got to keep trying if you really want to get back on, on the wagon, so to speak. So, um, and that's what I did. So I just kind of stuck with it. And one of the things that happened is on the last, um, stream that we did the last planner Emma, i just realized that the last system i used just wasn't working it was stressing me out so right. I was like, if, this, if it's not working i'm not going to use it anymore so i threw it out and i made this thing and that was pretty much where i am right now so i I'm think getting... that's oh go ahead oh um yeah so that was what i did and one of the things with the weekly task list that i didn't mention before is if it takes any kind of mental energy, I mean, any kind of mental energy, like whatsoever, I put it on there to do, you know, like I have go get my nails done. You'd think that wouldn't take any mental energy, but I got to get in the car and I got to drive and I got to socialize with somebody. I don't know why they hold my hands hostage for, I don't know how long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think that's such a good idea. The idea that if it's not, what you're doing is not working, then throw it out and start over with something that is, and that sometimes you have to whittle your giant list down to one thing is really good advice. Because I think a lot of times, especially for people who are really achievers, we get all 
we have these big plans, and I do this to myself all the time. We have these big plans. I'm going to do these 8,000 things, and then we just get burned out. And this year and last year, I think all of us have been more burned out than usual, and you just have to be a little kind to yourself. And so if you are beating, like if you're, it's like hoarding, right? People who hoard often feel like they get overwhelmed with all their stuff because they feel like if they can't clean it perfectly, then they shouldn't clean it at all. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same thing if you have like a giant task list that if you have a million things on there that you can't get them all done, that it sort of paralyzes you or it can paralyze you. Mm -hmm. And you do nothing. JC says, I miss your vlogs, Caro. Uh, NL Heiser says, I have to take time to refill my well so that it can then fuel my drive. That mm -hmm. is absolutely the truth. Yeah, refilling the. I need to get back to That's so true. It's so important. So, uh, MM Ward says, I need to get back to 5 a.m. Writers Club. Since March, I drag myself out of bed at 7 to 8 because my goats are screaming at me. And then by the time I do chores, I've missed two hours of writing streams. Yes. Yeah, I mean, 5 a.m. Writers Club, as much as it sucks to get up that early, it, there is something awesome about by seven o'clock in the morning, you have been writing for two hours and you have your entire day in front of you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, CO Savvy has good advice. She says, when, I don't, when things don't go my way, I give myself five minutes to bitch and moan about it and then I make a plan for moving forward. If I don't give myself five minutes, I crumble later and I won't know why. Mm -hmm. I love that, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. JC says, CEO, I get that. I think I give myself about a half an hour. <laughs> I give myself something chocolatey. There we go. Super, super <sighs> important. Our comments are still broken. I do not understand why. I thought here. eventually we, yeah, I thought Ooh. I'm going to like do early comments and see if it won't give me, there's thunder. Do you guys hear that? I do a little bit. Mm -hmm. New comments. Oh, it worked. I am, yay. yay. CO Savvy says, my goats are screaming. I'm dying of that screaming goat, goat meat. That's <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wait, that made me think of that. I can't fathom this, but <laughs> perchance, did anyone here ever see Legally Blonde the musical? No. I did not see the musical. <laughs> I saw the movie. There's, I was to. Okay, can I just say, it was it's actually really, like, it's one of my favorite, and I've seen a ton of musicals because I love them, and um, I loved it. It was absolutely, fa I mean, I saw it about a billion years ago, but every time I say, oh my God, you guys, I always think there's a song going, oh my God, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> right. And that concludes the musical performance for this scene. Ah, JC said it was awesome. Right? There you go. It was fantastic. Very nice. Very nice. I know, I loved it. I thought it was really good. I will tell you the musical I hated. Ready? I don't okay. know if this will be a shock. Phantom of the Opera. Really? Every, yes. Everyone's like, oh, you got to see Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. Ooh. And I went on Broadway, and it was fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm standing there, and people are, like, surrounding me, standing ovation. And I'm like, did you guys see the same thing I just saw? Like, I thought it was terrible. So, yes, I may be the only person who thinks Phantom of the Opera sucked but I will own it. You know, I'm probably one of the few people in the world who doesn't like cats, so. Oh, uh, I actually don't care for cats either, so I'm with you on that one. Theo says, I've seen the musical numerous times, so much better, and Legally Blonde are my fave. Yes, yes. The last musical I had an interest. Ooh, I'm dying to see the rest of this sentence. That's good. Here it comes, ready? Drum roll. Ooh, in seeing is the Book of Mormon. I was supposed to see that, did not get to see it, and I'm dying to see it. Is that I, where they look into a hat and gaze into the rock of foretelling, or is that something else? I don't know, but there's a um, but there's a song about oh, what is it? It's like ding, it's the doorbell one, like ding dong. 
hello, hello, hello. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so this is the musical theater edition of the Boozy Planorama. I know, you guys didn't come for musical recs, but we have them. Uh-huh. They, oh, they need their food as soon as the sun clears the horizon. Well, <laughs> it's the musical theater and goat herding edition of the Boozy Planorama. All right, here we go. I'm down for that, though. That's pretty cool. I know, right? I haven't seen any musicals, like, on Broadway or anything, but I was extremely happy when they put Hamilton on Disney+. <gasps> Uh, yeah. I've now seen it like five or six times and I really want to watch it again. We, yeah, we loved, well, right, because it came out, it was really popular, but like, it's not mm -hmm. like anybody was going to be traveling last summer. And um, yeah, we saw it on Disney. That was actually the reason that we got Disney Plus. Holy crap, that was a really big lightning uh, strike. <laughs> That was the last we ever saw, of Lisa. <laughs> it was so one time. I don't. I can't remember if I was on a stream or if I was, or if I had just gotten off a stream. But you know, Florida is the lightning capital of the world, or something. And and oh, that one's far away. It was a really big lightning stream, but there was the thunder. Thunder. So you know, it's bad. Far away. You're through Lisa's mic. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, we okay. We live on the water, and there's a. Uh, they're like kind of to the left is like a road with palm their palm trees and i which i can see out my window and a lightning strike hit one of the palm trees and it was a big old tall like washingtonian palm so you know like the light pole ones and it just went like and there was just palm palm debris all over the road and that just sounds terrible to me no it's okay I know she's got lightning. You're worried about her, aren't you? Are you okay? Hamilton, so much. Me too. Hamilton is awesome. I love the cast in Hamilton. I thought, like, if you guys have not seen the cast that they, uh, which I think was the Broadway cast, but the cast that they used for the Disney Plus filming of Hamilton, it's incredibly diverse, and it was so spectacular. I can't even like describe how spectacular it was. Like, it was just so so good. And also, I may have a knee crush on Thomas Jefferson and that's all I'm going to say about that. Just okay. A tiny crush. Tiny. Yes. Insignificant. Right. Exactly. R.C. Oh, yeah. Scott says the creators of South Park wrote it. We are talking about Book of Mormon now. C.O. Savvy. I love Lin-Manuel uh, Lin Miranda's In the Heights where there's a song called Blackout that played during Lights Out and the crowd initially thought it was real blackout. Ooh, I didn't know that. Stop. So you continue. I'm talking to him. I never... I never saw, oh no, I can't do it again. Ah. Okay, I never saw Rocky Horror Picture Show live any place in Chicago with a stage that's held a production of it. I think that's true for a lot, like lots of big cities with stages. Like that was really a super popular production. For a lot of like kind of mid-sized theaters. Popo. I come back to a lightning strike hitting a palm tree. Yep, true. All right, Heather, so nice to see you today. All right. I keep going back. I'm Heather's still like right. Too, right? Huh? Heather's in Florida too, right? Oh yeah, she's in um she's in Tampa, so she's pretty close to me actually. I'm curious what's bringing you there. I'm sure every time I go Every time I say like, oh, there's an alligator in my backyard today, Heather's like, oh, yeah, me too, because <laughs> we live in a very similar <laughs> area. She's like, yeah, I've got an alligator. I've got two alligators. Yeah, uh, we have little <laughs> tiny black bears. That's what we have here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So speaking yeah. of, yeah, yeah. I, I live in, a, I think we talked about this, right? We yeah. live in a bear preserve, a bear area. So like on the main road where I live, it says like, bears next 11 miles <laughs> and yeah we, we can't put our trash cans out the night before you live what yeah i live above the river and there's been grizzly bears spotted down by the river during the summer months there hasn't been one yet this year but um one of my neighbors just warned me to put my trash cans up so we don't attract the bears up here so yeah yeah yes. that's a they're opportunists for, for sure yeah yeah, we can't put ours out at night. We have to put them out in the morning. 
because the because of the bears. Yeah, one of my friends' uh, dogs got attacked by one of the bears that came into its backyard. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. They generally stay pretty far away from people. But where I live, we have a preserve nearby. So we end up with a lot of like animals kind of wandering in. Like we have wild boars to just wander down the street. We apparently have an armadillo living in our, like one of our big bushes by our driveway, which is really <laughs> funny because my, um, so if you guys know Odin, oh, can you see him? Let's see if you can see him, hold on. There, you can see him like laying right back here in the back. Mm -hmm. So Odin is a chaser of lizards, but that's pretty much as big as he'll go. And um, he saw this armadillo and I, he's, I think he's like losing his sight because he's kind of getting old. And w next door to us is, a, um, oh, I can't remember what kind of dog it is. A little tiny, uh, Never mind, I can't remember. Anyway, small dog and any little animal that's around, Odin always thinks that it's um, Munchkin, the dog next door, who's like this big. So we had a rabbit in the bushes and Odin's like wagging his tail like, oh, there's my friend Munchkin and the armadillo and yeah, so. Ooh, lightning again. I'm really, <laughs> it's really super close. All right, see you soon. Because uh, if there was lightning in my area, I would turn the computer off and shut everything down. I'd be done for the day. I know. I'm a little nervous about it. Uh, CO Savvy says, I have family in Fort Lauderdale. How far are you from there? Uh, I know Florida, big state. So like four hours, it's on the opposite coast and down, I think. Maybe three hours. It's across the state for me. I'm on the West Coast. But not very far. So if you visit them, I'm definitely coming to see you. Taking you to lunch, girl. All right. Heather is in Oldsmar. I, weirdly enough, I do not know where that is, but that's like Tampa area, right? Is that right? NL, it's been in the 90s all day. My AC is struggling and a storm just hit. Did not cool anything down. Oh, my gosh. That's oh, where that's I am today. Good. I know. I turned the AC down. My office has a great view, which is why I picked it, but it's literally the last stop on the AC. And so it's, and it gets sun for in the, like I have two sets of windows. So it gets sun in the morning and in the afternoon. And basically I'm sitting in a greenhouse, but yeah. So there's that, but it's pretty. So I stay here. Chicago says bears. They haven't made the plans. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, Oldsmar is the throughway from Tampa to Pinellas Beaches without the high bridges. Oh, okay. Um, says, oh goodness, come on, girl, what's happening? Okay, Your I live on the prairie, ninety miles from the mountains. Yeah, that's it. I live on the prairie 90 miles from the mountains, but we get bears out here too. We also have a pair of badgers, packs of coyotes, herds of antelope and deer. And once there was a trio of elk. That is lovely. Odin is my dude. I hate lizards. Yeah. There's He's <laughs> antelope and deer here. And there's a fox den somewhere on one of these two hills because we've seen the kids playing with each other. Um, really? But no badgers that I've seen yet. We did have a porcupine last fall when we visited just for a couple of weeks. Uh, we had to take a dog to the vet that just a stray wandered in our yard, tangled with the porcupine on Labor Day. That was fun. Oh, super That's because fun. of Labor Day here, by the way, guys. So that was always fun. Your idea of fun and oh mine are God. very different. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah. I, so here's the funny thing. I am not a nature girl at all. And I'm shocked at how much I enjoy looking at, oh God, that was a really big lightning strike. Okay. And I am, I am only, like you guys are I'm like looking out the window and it's like, okay. Anyway, that was a dramatic reenactment by me of the lightning strike. I'm shocked at how much I really like love seeing all the stuff that's going on. Like we have all kinds of birds and things like that. And like the, behind my house is like bird super highway. They're all kind of walking through, but we also have like this little peninsula where there's a beach that's kind of directly behind us and, or to the side. And um, every day, like 
I don't know, 15 turtles are out there like sunning themselves. And I just think that like I, it's the coolest thing to watch. I have no idea why I get all excited. Maybe we just become like geriatric since we moved here because we're always like, Ooh, look at the alligator. All right. I'm a nerd. Okay. You're, uh, nerd. You're wonderfully nerd. Lisa. I, <laughs> I am the most Lisa ever. Okay. Lizards are cool. I can tolerate most animals with a blowtorch comes out over hornets and centipedes. I'm with you on that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. I get that. Theo Savvy, R.C. Scott, Ufa Blor to blow tour. I can't say. Mimosa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, porcupine and skunks are as common as feral dogs and cats. We have a lot of cats here, but you warned me about that before. I, I did. Up. I did. I don't know why it is. There are a lot of cats in that area. I don't know why people think it's okay to drop domestic animals near farms. Well, they've already told their kids that's where they're going. So I think that's why. CEO Savvy says, kudos. It's been a whole hour. And your internet held up. Lots of planning and musical talk, but hardly any drinking. All right, I'll take that challenge. I've been drinking. This, this entire glass of water. Cheers. This is a mimosa, which is kind of a, you know, a fluffy drink. But I knew that I was going to be sitting here for an hour. So it was like that much Prosecco and that much orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> In case anybody's wondering about my recipe. Just a little, little. Just a splash. Just a splash of OJ. Ah. Ah, all right. So uh, still working on my purpose here. I have not done any stickers. I better get going because we only have an hour left and I don't want to. I got distracted in doing like the rest of my weekly layout. And so I was like, I didn't finish my I am page. So like the one thing I said I was going to do, it's like, I haven't even like done. So I'm, I'm back to the I am page. Thanks. Thanks friends. You're welcome. Well, you know what? Like I, every month do, um, uh, my purpose at the beat, like I, there's like a special box uh, at the first of the month in the planner. And even though my purpose does not change month to month, I always put it at the beginning of every month so that I remember it. And so I think about it every day. I like that. Thank you. Not that you need my approval or anything. I don't need it, but I sure like it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was laughing at the comment that JC said. She's like, focus. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> All right. What? Okay. MM Ward says, finish my next six month plan for Hold My Coffee 2021. Okay. Please expand on Hold My Coffee 2021. Yeah. Title of a book, the theme of your life. What is this? I like the theme of the life idea. That would be like great on a cover of like right? a planner, right? Like hold my coffee, you know, and taking off the earrings, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. All right. Explain, please, M.M. Ward. In, in lightness, we want to know what it is. RC has straight cats and a huge raccoon, uh, straight cats on my block and a huge raccoon chills in the backyard at night. I just don't go out there when he's around. I do not blame you for that. Do not blame you at all. All right. Uh, uh, only I would like turn this into like some kind of weird frequency chart thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are you. You're the most you ever. I try. I really do. You're doing a great job with it. Thank you. Thank you very much.
So I have a question. I have, um, there are certain sort of uh, metrics that I like to record social media that I'm working on, like if I have certain benchmarks that I want to meet. And so every month I write those down and whether or not I hit my goals or uh, sometimes if I'm just, you know, sort of tracking it, I will, you know, add like whatever the increase is. Like one of the things I focus more on this, um, this year is BookBub mm -hmm. and sort of building up my followers on BookBub. And, um, and so I always write down like every month, like, okay, this is how many followers I have this month. This is what, mm -hmm. like, it's up. Did I do anything, you know, did I let it ride or did I actually, you know, promote this in some way? Do you guys do that? Um, you know, I had every intention of doing that at the start of the year. Um, what I did, um, was, uh, here on my planner that I don't use anymore. I had stickers, um, and on nice. the stickers... And Wait, on the hold stickers, on. hold oh. on, I'm going to make you big. There you go. Okay. And so on the stickers, I was just going to track oh. my followers for Instagram and YouTube because those were the ones that I was spending the most time on. But as you can tell, they're blank. <laughs> so I had every intention of doing it. I didn't quite follow through with it. Um, I don't know if there's a way that Instagram will let you do it. I know that YouTube uh, channel analytics will kind of let you see like your overall growth or your decline or whatever, depending right. on all that fun stuff depending on where you are mm -hmm. what did i do with my it's a little it, it's kind of tricky to do if you do do that i would recommend doing it on a monthly basis and not a daily check because then you oh. start getting too focused on the numbers and if you're going up or down and then you're like oh my god yeah. and then yeah. you lose one person you're like what did i do oh my god right that's true uh yeah i just do mine once a month i try to do it like in the first or second day of the month but this month I've been a slacker and I'm not doing it till today, but I am doing it. So there you go. I didn't. Um, I think I went back to Instagram and I lost like 50 followers because I was inactive for so long. And I was like, I deserve that. Yeah, that was me. Uh, um, but I don't know if those were actually 50 people or if those were 50 people plus bots that Instagram goes and purges like every like two weeks. So, yeah, right. You never know. Yeah. I used to track all that stuff, but my my stuff doesn't grow fast enough, so it was kind of depressing seeing the same numbers every month, or even worse, when you lose people because of the, like the bots and stuff, so the numbers mm -hmm. would go down sometimes, and so mm -hmm. I haven't tracked it in a long time, purposely. <laughs> I just do it once a, once a month, like because I'm been just on the, um, just on the platforms where I'm putting you know kind of some effort into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to get back into that. Oh, I think one of the hard things that it's I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it anymore, but like I like doing my vlogs. Like, mm -hmm. I really like doing them, but I don't know how well I'll be able to do them now because Mr. Brown lives, you know, he works from home. Right. So before I used to be able to wander around the house and be like, here I am doing X, Y, Z. And now it's like, if I want to do that, I have to be like, what room is he in? Like, is he talking? Like, is he in a meeting right, right now? So. Right. So that's an added complication I didn't ask for. But I should probably do it kind of like Michelle does where it's like a targeted vlog where it's like, watch me try and write like 5,000 words in a second, you know. So. Yes. Let's see. I will write words. The one, the one thing I really like watching are like the day in the life vlogs. Mm -hmm. And part of me really wants to do those. But then I'm like, I don't do enough during the day to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of it would be right. kind of like, okay, guys, hey, I'm up and I uh, went and ran on the treadmill and score on that and now i'm going to write some words and now i have to go to work and i'll be back in eight hours <laughs> right and then i come back and be like no yes yeah. yes 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 do you need to get back in the habit of writing daily right now it's just like on a weekly basis mm -hmm. mine's not even weekly right now 
The last time I wrote was a couple of weeks ago. Well, you declared word war on me, so that was kind of like, I have to write now. <laughs> I said I wasn't uh, studying until July. I was waiting for my book to come in. And then I'm I'm like OCD in the way where I was like, I have to start on the first. It has to be a full 90 days from the first. Come on to you. I am. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Editing, I can do weekly. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to edit every day. Screw that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been working on that. Uh, I have been working steadily on Caro's Tarot, so that's still been in the works. Oh, work. you have? That's awesome. Yeah. There was like that song, not that song. You guys got me thinking about musicals now. Um, there was that <laughs> one manuscript that I was working on called Fine Print, and I actually got that to an editor so oh, i got good. it to a developmental editor and then i sent it to a line editor so i got that i was like that was it i got one thing done this year um <laughs> yay yeah but then i got set on these two other projects um but i wanted to write i have to find a different name for it because i know somebody's gonna read it and think it's like part of the omega verse and it's not but like it's called predator right now and that's not mm -hmm. I don't think I should keep that as the actual title. I've been working on that, and it's just like a really easy, like contemporary romance thing. So, all right. Am I? Um, all right. So uh, here we go. <laughs> uh, comments. Co Savvy says six months. Mm Ward six months ahead. Wow, I can barely plan for the week. So kudos for planning so far ahead. JC says a hush falls upon. We were working, you. Yeah. The sound of silence. Nobody has ever heard us be this quiet. <laughs> and RC says, I better get some writing done. I'm a little motivated and all out of excuses. All right, RC, you go. We're ready for you to write. Nice work. All right, here I go. Okay. That's weekly. I haven't even color coordinated this yet. What? I can't believe it. I had to draft it first. Stickers. For, for, um, uh, I ordered stickers to do like a time blocking system, but instead of like coloring stuff i would just put the colored sticker to represent different things oh that's a good idea to it so i could track and i'm waiting for them to come in they're supposed to be here next week i think i want it now i, I want it yesterday okay <laughs> uh, part of what i do at work is i have to find new stuff right i have to go out and find them and so I'm like, I'm going everywhere trying to find these people. Like, you know, I was like, I'm going to find them. I'm either going to bribe them or I'm going to drag them in by their hair, but I'm going to find these people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. M.M. Ward says, I felt like, so this is hold my coffee 2021. Hashtag hold my coffee. All right. She says, I felt like I got nothing done in 2020, not even my quarterly goals. Then having COVID in November blew out my nano because I couldn't creatively write. So I edited 150,000 words instead and then repeated in December. Hold my coffee 2021 was my manifestation of Caro's acorn year theory. 2020 sucked, yes. And my pessimistic side suspected 2021 would be as bad or worse. So I told it to hold my coffee. I have things to do. 
Good on you. Yes. Oh, very I'm glad good. that motivated you. I know, me too. I feel like we keep talking about it, and, and I think everybody here knows, but why don't you talk about what your your acorn theory was? Oh, well, my year of the acorn was me going through a lot of efforts to go and lay down the seeds for things to come to fruit later on. Um, so that was where I wanted to spend my energy, uh, more than just trying to finish one thing and then start a new thing and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that was, that was the idea, you know, lay down your seeds and get them all set up and then, you know, help them grow after that. So, yes. So, and then I think in like Christmas cards, I was sending people like acorns. I was like, you get an acorn and you get an acorn. We're all getting freaking acorns. <laughs> I love that. I thought that was such a love. Like, I just loved it. I thought it was awesome. I'm glad you liked it. I really did. I haven't used mine yet. I plan on putting it somewhere in August. I wonder you why. You can, <laughs> you can put it wherever you want. <laughs> it's your acorn. You can hold on to it or store it away for later or whatever you want to do. All right. I did the one thing I said. No, darn, gosh, darn it. Um, hold on. I'm not done. I lied. Sorry. Such a liar. Um, Has anybody seen that add to cart meme? Mm -hmm. No. It's that it's the meme. It's like this lady in like a therapist's office, and the therapist is like, "So what do we do when we're sad?" She's like, "Add to cart." <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, NL says, "I'm in my editing cave this month. Very nice." Heather says, "Had to take care of dates for the calendar, of the kitchen, but still planning." Yes. Edit it, MM Ward edited it a lot when I had Kobe in November and Kobe Fog in December. Ooh, good question, CEO Savvy. How do you balance multiple projects, Caro? Do you work on all of them weekly or focus on one project per day? I tried doing that, but got sidetracked and focused on one project and ignoring the others. That's what I have to do. What do you do, Caro? Because you're the most efficient person ever. Um, so it kind of depends on, so, okay. So going back to the I am page, you know, when you're trying to figure out things that you want to do and then you make like the little frequency chart, um, about how often that you have to work on it, then you can go and you can make, um, this little 12 week plan thing. Um, and what you do is it's basically like this, this chart that you make where you track how frequently or you know, the days that you want to get stuff done. Now, obviously, you know, if it's something takes daily, this may not work. Um, but what I've done with the 12 week year is I basically broke it down into 12 weeks and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So at least on those days, I have to get that thing done. Right. Um, so uh, like, for example, uh, I talked a little bit earlier about the contemporary romance. I'm not writing every day right now. That's that's not a place that I'm at, but I can write three days a week. So three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I will come in and I will write. So I do that. Um, same thing with like, I'm trying to get fit. I came to Florida and the first thing that I found out is that we have a lot of fried food here and I put on the pounds I didn't put on during COVID while I was here. So I'm trying to lose those pounds. Um, so, you know, the same thing with the get fit on that, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I will like run two miles um, and then I will like do Beat Saber and like all, you know, and so this is kind of what it looks like right now. And you just kind of fill it in. It's it's like a it's like a twelve week habit tracker almost, um, but you're only doing it three days out of the week instead. But that's how I track everything that I'm trying to do overall. So um, if you know how often that you have to work on something and how much time it takes, then you can do it that way. If you know it's something that you need to do like every day, then that needs to be on a like. Um, hold on, this is why I have so many notebooks. I need help. Send help. Um, but that's why you occasionally have like the, the monthly tracker. Um, but I know some individuals struggle with, you know, a, a, a monthly tracker like that because they'll miss a day and then they'll hate themselves forever. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do a weekly tracker and then say that you can start over the next week. And at least then you're not stopped doing it, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So um, I would recommend going back to after I overloaded you with all those visuals, um, I would recommend that you, figure out what it is that you need to do, how much time they need, how you can break it up into smaller chunks, um, and then kind of see how you can work that into your routine. But it has to be realistic. It has to be really realistic. Um, I usually tell everybody that you should get three things done a day. Um, 
And as long as you get three things done, something's getting done. So that would be my advice. That's excellent advice. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's like I went to school for project management. It is just <laughs> like that. Oh my gosh. Uh, now, would you make us a souffle? Because you also went to school for sh being a chef, for cooking. I All did. Right. And I can. Uh, I know. Thank you. Uh, JC says that's a good question. CEO. CEO is full of great questions. CEO loves the fact that Emma Ward refuses to write the full name Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. If we yes. treat it like a person, we can hate it. That's it's like, right. I hate you, Kobe. I hate you. I hate you. You're such a witch. All right. Uh, yes, that's exactly right. Well, and this idea like you're planting things now and that they will grow and bear fruit or nuts or both. Who knows? <laughs> oh, my. Yes, exactly. Very nice. Oh, I got two of those from JC. That was weird. All right. Excellent. Very, very good. So, yeah. That's how I do that. Uh, but again, it always comes down to like your personal style mm -hmm. and what that looks like. And like, and again, that's why I was like, you need to figure out what, what's realistic for you. There's um, actually, I wrote about this in a blog that might come up on the website, but I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, it's called the penny day approach. And it's about trying to figure out like your daily energy and how you spend it throughout the day. Because one one thing that I find that happens with burnout, and I love talking about burnout, like I really love talking about burnout and like stress and like energy levels and stuff like that. I have specific stress <laughs> Um But the thing that's part so of the reason true. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. That was hilarious. I it is great. Myself. It okay. is. Yeah. Um, also but true. But so like the, what I really like about the penny day approach is that basically you're tracking how you're spending your energy and this can take you like one day or like, I usually say try it for three days because that gives you a better ballpark of like how you're actually spending your energy. But everything is a mental cost. Um, you wake up when the alarm goes off, that cost you a penny because you had to use willpower to get up when the alarm went off. Right. And then you had to actually get out of bed. Uh, yeah. And then you go into the kitchen and you're kind of like, hey, I could have like the super sugary cereal. That's really good for me. Or I can be concerned about my weight and have bacon and eggs instead. Right. So that's two pennies because you had to make a healthy choice and you made yourself do it. Right. So now we're in a deficit of three pennies. Uh, you eat breakfast with somebody in your family that you love talking to. You get one penny back, just one. Um, and you keep kind of going through and you see like where you're spending your pennies and where you're getting them back from. And a lot of times what happens is people, when they're trying to get a lot done, will go into huge deficits every day because mm -hmm. they're not they're not doing the self-care. They're not taking care of themselves. They're not recharging themselves, but they don't really get the full impact of that until they actually do the penny day. And um, one question I usually get asked is, um, how many pennies do I have? And I don't know. I don't know how many pennies you have. You might have 500 pennies. You might have 1,000 pennies. You may only have 50 pennies, right? So, you know, and again, that's a great reason to do it. You can kind of see how much you're getting done and where you're spending your energy and then what you're doing to get it back. So, right. Well, it's funny that you say that because um, my, you know, daughter has a chronic illness and she had, well, she has fibro and the, there's a whole thing where people with fibro call themselves spooners. And it's a really similar concept because they say, well, you only have so many spoons in a day. Mm -hmm. Right? And you can't, like, borrow spoons from tomorrow. You might use up all your spoons. Or if you do borrow a spoon from tomorrow, you're not going to have any spoons tomorrow. Yeah. And maybe you won't have any spoons all week because you'll be really tired, too tired to load the dishwasher. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. I think there's some real truth to that. And, and also like, okay, so JC said, I shouldn't be putting, I shouldn't be having eight things a day on my to-do list. No wonder I always feel like I didn't accomplish anything when I don't finish all eight items. Right. That's, I think you just hit it right, right there, JC. Because if you have three things on your list that you must finish and then some things that are lower down where you go, okay, if I have extra time, I'll do this, but I only need to get these three things done, mm -hmm. then you've accomplished that goal 
versus feeling like crap every day for getting five things done instead of 57. Yeah, and so part of the reason that I kind of moved to a weekly setup um, mm -hmm. is because that, one, I can track and see which days I'm getting more stuff done, and then it kind of gives me, like, more freedom. So, like, if I don't get all this stuff done today, you know what, that's okay because I still have the rest of the week. Yeah. Um, and I don't just, I don't just sit down and make this list like the weekend before it, it, this kind of just happens, you know, uh, like for example, um, I do have some things I already filled out for this coming week. Um, but those are things that I know I need to get done. Some of them are kind of like, you know, like I need to file the dog's nails down right at some point <laughs> next week. No, they, they have bear claws. Okay. And like <laughs> the reason I don't wear shorts is because when they see me and they're happy to see me, they jump on me and they drag their claws down. Oh. So, yeah. So I always look like, you know, something happened to me. So I can't wear shorts. Um, but you know, I've got, um, I've got file down the dog's nails. I've got write chapter four of predator. I have draw one more tarot card because I'm drafting all the tarot cards for my book. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do one every day because I don't have that kind of energy. So I'll just do one a week. Mm -hmm. And then I have like the whole video production thing, record the video, edit and post it. And then that was all I gave myself. Cause I was like, if I can't finish these things, I'm not going to do anything else. Like, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so. exactly. All right. So Adega is here. Hello, Adega. Oh, flip. I have to be productive in the evenings. No, you do not. You do, you do not. How do you make up these rules? I'm usually done. Like I'm out, I'm out of juice by the end of the day. Completely out of juice. I used to be a, like an afternoon evening person, but now I have to get up earlier, and so that's it. Like I'm, I just kind of burn out by about four o'clock. So, and I really had to like switch my writing schedule around because. Like, so to make sure that I was writing at the time when I had the most energy. Yeah, that's something that they tell us to do. And I just happen to have this book right here. Um, that's something that they tell us to do in two to 10,000. Yeah. We, we did this in Writer's Workshop that's hosted by Tamara Woods on the last Saturday of every month. You should come in and check out these craft books about writing. Okay, so that was my plug for Tamara. Um, yes. But, <laughs> so, um, but Rachel Aaron, who wrote that book, she was kind of like, when am I the, the most productive? I totally did, Rachel, because she is very analytical like I am, and she wants units of measurements, and she likes her own charts and things like that. So I'm like, I jive with you. I understand. She is the person that I met at the writer's conference. That yeah, and you, you promised that if you and I and her were in a room, you would help me get introduced to her. So I was like, please do that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I met her. And we just talked about this idea, which I this the thing about, that she said to me that was really life changing for me was like track your writing every day to see where and when you're most productive. And that is why I started writing at the beach because I used to always write in my office all week. And then if I had done every day, I would go to the beach on Fridays. And a great I realized, holy crap, I literally write twice as fast at the beach. So then I started writing at the beach every day and doubled my word count and enjoyed writing more. And all I did was change where I was. It was insane. And it was like, what? And there are lots of things, like if you're listening, like if I listen to binaural beats, I write faster than if I just listen to like regular music or, um, you know, different times of the day. So... Yes. If you do nothing else, if you don't read that book, just track your writing for like two or three weeks and write down stuff like, do you have a, did you have a headache? What kind of music are you listening to? Where are you? If you have something like I have an itch on my arm and like write that down any sort of weird notes and, and, and in a really short time patterns will emerge and you'll be like, holy smokes. And all you got to do is do more of the thing that's working and less of the thing that's not. Yeah. Like one thing I found out is that holidays really throw me off. And the reason that holidays throw me off is because somebody else happens to live in this house. And when mm -hmm. he has a holiday off, he's like, let's go do things. And I was like, I would like, and this isn't saying that he comes in and is like, no, you have to come spend time with me. I just no. get so thrown off by the fact that he's in the house. Right. <laughs> Right. It, it, it ruins my job. And I'm kind of like, I can't work because you're here. 
Right. I know. And I, can't, and I can't go to a coffee shop and like eavesdrop on people's conversations when I write because they're they're not open. <laughs> so it's true. That it's was true. one of the things I found. I couldn't work when my husband was off. So eh. it's um it's challenging for sure. Like it, that was probably the hardest thing of the last year for me is being so far off my schedule because I've been doing it for such a long time. I just felt like I was floundering constantly. Although I do feel like I've sort of gotten my groove back a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but the other thing is, you know, the horror geek, also a writer, also works from home and his office is right next door to mine. And when he's at his desk, and I'm at mine, we can see each other, <laughs> which, which can be great or it can be weird, but it's mostly great. All right, uh, Theo loves the penny day concept. I'm pretty sure I'm deep in debt at this point, but it's good to know. <laughs> I know the feeling. Okay, uh, <clears throat> calling Kobe from all the streams I've been on. That were demonetized or getting a YouTube strike for saying the whole name too many times. Thank you, that's so sweet of you. <clears throat> Uh, didn't realize the reason had such dark <laughs> so you could be a I think they're talking about saying the, the COVID name oh yeah so you can yeah. be you can be a bad person on YouTube and they won't do anything about it but you can't say one word I got it I was like wait what <laughs> okay thank you thank you for clarifying for me Carol so all right you're welcome I'm yeah there's all kinds of crazy stuff you can do on YouTube that you shouldn't be good, everybody. All right. Oh, there's a vacay. I needed one more vacay sticker because that is what I'm doing right now. I'm putting all the dots where I plan to take vacation. Yay. That's like the, that's like the I, best part of this. I, I hate it when I make like a layout, but I don't actually finish what I was going to do with it. So I'm like, I put dots on here and I don't know what these dots mean. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes these things happen. I don't know what these dots mean, you know. Oh wait, these are months. Okay, I'm there. I understand. Okay. 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 Phew. I was like, what does this mean? I don't understand. <laughs> we were talking about like uh doing tracking week and deciding what you're gonna do for the week and that be it. And what I started doing or what I was doing or what I would like to do again is wait hold on let me make you big there you go i do like this weekly layout page similar where i have one main quest and then i have some priority tasks and then i do what's called the alistair method where i put all the dates of the week and then my tasks in a list and uh -huh. i put dots next to the day that i want to do them and then i call them in if i get them done or obviously there was a lot of things uh, I didn't get them. nice I like but that. I can only do those tasks for the week, kind of like Kara said. Once I hit the end of the page, I'm done. That's once yeah. I hit the end of that list, I'm done. That is fantastic. So I have this great um, that is kind of the run thing. Oh, and here I go. But you also have. Here, I'll make me big now. Ready? So you also have pop priorities. You have stuff like here's tomorrow and then things like don't forget, like if you have to call and reschedule a doctor's appointment or something like that. All right. Which I really like. I like that it like gives you these little priorities because that's what, so I keep kind of the running list of stuff that does need to get done, but every day I pick the three main things that need to get done. And you'll notice mm -hmm. for tomorrow, website notes for Amy, top of the list. Well done. She's gonna, I, that's going to make her happy. I know. She's been so patient with me. I just have not been able to get it together. You know, I think. I think Amy, of all people, is probably one of the most patient people I know because she puts up with me pretty well. <laughs> she, she's pretty awesome. All right. Is it bad that I just want to put 
bikini and sombrero stickers no on my it's your planner you do whatever you want with your planner <laughs> on, my, on my vacation weeks that's what i want to do that's what you do then that's your planner yeah yeah i feel like i feel like elizabeth from pride and prejudice like you can pack your suitcase however you want she won't know <laughs> that's right that's right all right vacation I actually have a planner for work too. My boss doesn't know what to think of it. But I was like, hey, if the system works for me, does it matter? And she was like, no, you're right. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at it, all. I thought I was going to be one of those people that wanted multiple planners. And I tried it because at the beginning of this year, I was like, I have seven planners because there's different things. <laughs> no. Uh, different things. Seven. And then I'm by the, by now I'm in one again. Everything goes into one planner. That's good. That's very good. Well, I just want, so the reason I have a different planner for work is because if something happens, like, not that I think that anything would happen at work where legal action would come against me, but if they say that they need to have all work related things back with them. I am not giving up my actual planner. No, no, <laughs> no, yeah, no. no. Yeah. So that's pretty much what I do there. Guy, your dog is so cute. See how Savvy says, Chester. All right, I ride and I hear bikini and some bro in my planner. You know me. Hello, dog. I'm so glad to see you. Look, though. Oh wait, here I put it down. Look, see, I have I have flip flops. I have a sombrero that says island vibes. I got a little bikini here. I'm ready and some sunglasses, which I've already used. So, doll, I'm so glad to see you today. All right. Oh, StreamYard just jumped. Bingo. <laughs> Evan Ward says, hello, doll. I miss seeing you. CEO Savvy says, hola, dolcito. All the love for doll. Absolutely true. Everybody loves you. Hi, mm -hmm. Maggie. Very nice. Very nice. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I've got most of June done here. Well done. Thank you. That was on Thursday, so that was one fifty. Oh, you know what? I have one more spot on my monthly to-do list, and I'm going to do it and do newsletter giveaway. You got this. Was, yep, because I was just saying I really wanted to do another one, and I need to. So summer's my time. All right, fantastic. I think that was just meant to be. It was. Whatever you want to be will manifest. I do. Well, this is the thing that really helped me. I got so far off track with um, so far off track with 2020. And so one thing about having a separate planner for publishing has really helped me kind of hone down my goals. And I've, I have made excellent progress this year. So I'm, and I have way fewer projects and goals than I normally do, but I have made steady forward progress, which is way more than I can say for last year. So I'm, I'm happy. Proud of you, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's what I'll probably do next year is I'll have one planner for like every day, all day personal stuff, and then one for publishing and strictly for publishing in that day. Yeah. Ooh, CO Savvy, good question. Does anyone have a food planner? Just had lasagna. That sounds delicious. So it's on topic. Yeah. I don't have a planner, but I do have a tracker because I have problems where if I overeat, I have shoulder pain or I get really sick. So I've been talking about uh, eating shit. There's a pause. <laughs> Carol's like, I've got a planner for that. Very nice job. Very, very nice job. And I have it on sticky notes because if I don't feel like making it that day, I can just move it around. Right. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, every time I try and make a layout, I try to make it like a reusable layout because the one thing that always irks me a little bit about the bullet journal system is that you make the layout and then when you're done with it, you have to either remake it or it's just gone. Um, so like when it comes to like my meal prep, like I have another page here with like tons of sticky notes about all the different meals, but I basically sit down on Sunday and figure out what we're going to have 
And sometimes it's not going to change or other times, you know, Mr. Brown will come over. He's like, Hey, you know, that, uh, that beef keto stir fry thing that you made. I'll be like, yeah. He's like, I never want to eat that again. So I just take it off. <laughs> so <laughs> That's nice of you. That's nice um, of you. He, he likes his, the he horror likes his geek to be very seasoned. Uh, I like that as well. The horror geek uh, is a power lifter, and so there always has to be a lot of meat. There always has to be some meat involved, and I'm not like a major meat eater, but I have a lot. All right. Ooh, okay. Emma Ward says, I'm thinking about adding a media page to my planner tracker instead of noting my YouTube blog and blog's deadlines on my writing tracker page. Okay, I'm a media person. What will you be putting on your media page? Are you talking about interviews and reviews on there? Are you talking about some other social media? Are you talking about something you do? Like, do tell. Please share. All right. In honor of Carol, I'm having Korean barbecue taco this Thursday. Thank you. Ooh, that Thank sounds you. good. <laughs> I So my thing was like, okay, my mom's leaving. I'm going to get back to like eat it because I did gain that COVID slash, you know, whatever. I gained I gained the pandemic poundage. And even though I am on my treadmill every single day, right? So mm -hmm. rock hard hiney underneath layers of squishy gooey goodness. <laughs> right. <laughs> so so I have like a couple things. One, I'm not drinking enough water anymore. I used to be better about it, but I've really gotten off of this. I drink far more like caffeine just to kind of keep myself upright. And I'm going to stop that and get back to drinking water. And um, well, one thing that you can do. When, mm -hmm. Okay. So I know a lot about coffee consumption and how to balance it out because yeah. I've done this lots of times. <laughs> Um, so one thing that you can do is that for one, for every cup of coffee that you have, you have to have a 24 ounce equivalent of water because you are actually dehydrating yourself. I do so, that already. Okay. Yeah. So the other thing that you have to do is you have to not have coffee after 2 PM. I don't. Do, well, I don't have coffee. I have Coke and I totally do not do that, but I should. My yeah. goal is to switch, okay, because Coke is like the worst. This is responsible for me being a fluffier Lisa than in the past, <laughs> right? Because Coca-Cola and far less just moving around being alive. And so um, I need to get off of the Coca-Cola, which is my Achilles heel. And uh, usually how I do that is to start drinking uh, green tea, ice green tea. Okay. But it's a hard, so, it's a hard and miserable switch for like the first week or two. But I also do not want to go to surf camp, a chubby girl. I would like to go like feeling strong and healthy. So at that point, it's not really you stressing out about your caffeine consumption; it's you stressing out about your sugar consumption, right? Oh yes. Yeah. Right. So yeah, if you really want to do it and you want to be really rough about it, you got to keep your sugar consumption under twenty grams a day. I do want to do that, but it sounds painful. It can be. I think it's going to be You're, rock you, hard, Heine. <laughs> I'm tempted to make a robot erotica joke. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Please do, because it it's wouldn't. It's only yeah. worth it if Tamara is here. <laughs> That's true, because she's the one that gets all funny about it. That is absolutely true. OK. Emma Ward says, I write down reminders to post vlog or blog or book release video, but lose track of streams. I usually visit my interviews on posties. I lose. Yep, I feel that. All right. Doll says, thank you, Caro. I do. I, so my, I, I maintain my weight for years and years and years and years. And um, like pretty easily. I, I basically uh, eat, I always ate lunch with a friend uh, after the show. And I would pretty much just have a like enjoy myself over the weekend. But then I was a lot more uh, conscientious about what I was eating during the week. And so I ate pretty clean uh, Monday through Friday afternoon. And then, and not like crazy, 
not crazy. I wasn't eating like cheesecake 24 hours a day from Friday afternoon until Sunday night. But I didn't worry about it as much. I'd have a glass of wine or pasta or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that served me really well for a long time. But as there have been no days for months and months, I like pretty much my brain's like, oh, well, every day is Friday. And that means, you know, you can have whatever you want. You can have whatever you want. We'll get you through the next hour of this exciting new non-exciting life so yeah yeah so I, w I i think it'll be challenging mostly to get myself off the sugar because that's always a brutal come down i think but i generally like to like i like fruits and vegetables i like seafood i like i like so i feel like once I do it, I should be okay. Yeah, that first two weeks when you try and cut down on your sugars, the most brutal. It really is. Yeah. Um, like I had to cut down. So I have low blood sugar. Not to be yeah. kind of like this is all about me. Um, but when I have and it, when I have um, any kind of sugar, whether it be like fruit or whatever, I get like hyper, right? Like you normally do, but for me, I get really hyper. And then my crash afterwards, even if I just eat like some strawberries or some melons or whatever, like I just feel terrible, you know? Uh, I don't feel good at all. Um, and what really sucks is that when you have low blood sugar and you live in like in a really hot area is that you have to worry about passing out. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So you have to do that too. Hi, my name is Maggie, and I'm a sugar addict, and no, I can't quit at any time. It's fine. Hello, buddy. <gasps> yeah, me too. All right, Dal says I have fast metabolism. That's what she said, even though I can't bring up a comment for some reason. There she goes. But the pandemic made me go from a seasoned dog walker to a nothing. That's it. That me. Like I'm, I, my normal state of being is I'm a fast walker. I've always got a million things to do. I'm running around all the time, and I have gone from I went from that to sitting in this room a lot. And now it's a thousand degrees outside every day. And so it's like walking on the surface of the sun. So instead of like taking like a nice walk with the dog, I'm like in and out. And he has to use, he has to do his business in the shade somewhere under a tree or that's it. Yeah. Or I'll melt into the sidewalk. So there we go. All right. Oh, hold on. I'm terrible about putting up social media posts. Uh, I think that's why. Why can't you post from your laptop? Do you could do like buffer or later, and you can post it right from your laptop. Actually, and one thing I learned with the uh, the Facebook business pages is that if you have your Instagram account already hooked up on there, you can post to one; it will go to the other. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, See you, savvy. My darling sister says I'm addicted to Coca-Cola, Lisa, but I can't do a cold turkey. Right? I have the same thing. Okay, so I have the same thing. I get terrible headaches. I get terrible migraines. I'm cutting back and drinking no more water. I went from three cokes a day to only one a day. You are my hero. You are my hero, girl. That's how I have to do it. A, I have to have the caffeine, which is why I go to green tea. It doesn't have quite as much caffeine at all. But the one that I like is like a flavored one. It, it, it's just like a fruit flavor. It doesn't have any sugar. It's just, I just make it. And um, uh, and it's good because it also, uh, green tea helps regulate your, your metabolism. So you don't get those sugar spikes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but I, I know I'm like a Coke first thing. I don't drink coffee. So I drink like a Coke first thing in the morning, which is the worst thing I could do. But I'm proud of you. You're my new hero if you've gotten down to one Coke a day. I really have to get it down to cold turkey, like none. But I always have to have it in the house, which is bad. And the reason for that is because I get migraines. And the, th the way that, um, that having a Coke, which closes up your uh, blood vessels, your capillaries or whatever, um, along with the medication, is like the one way to get rid of a migraine for me. So um, so I have to have one in case I have a migraine. Like I have to have it in the house, which is hard because, you know, if you're a Coca-Cola addict and there you know it's right outside in the refrigerator. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. CEO Savvy, every time we talk, I think like we understand each other. <laughs> All right. Uh, Doll says, good thing I keep coffee only for the mornings. Now I just need to remember more water and less sweet. Yep. Me too, girl. Uh, low blood sugar in a hot climate. Oh, yes, I passed out a few times. I believe that. Mm -hmm. JC also has the low blood sugar. Well, this is interesting. MM Ward says, when I gave up salty snacks, I replaced them with sugary snacks, and that meant I was eating a cup and a fourth of sugar a day. I'm probably eating seven cups of sugar a day right now. I really got to get off the sugar. Okay. I believe uh, in you. I know you can do it. You too. One Coca-Cola a week. That's a good thing. I couldn't, I can't do that. And I'll tell you why, because if I have one, I'll have 17. I need, I need it in the house. But what I if you just, what if you just stop by like circle K or somewhere like a convenience store and you just get like the bottle. So you only have the bottle in the house. So yeah. you don't feel addicted. You don't feel the, the need to go and get. Yeah. And, well, here, here's the funny thing about that. I do not care for Coke in the bottle, and that is when I'm being good, that's what I do. I don't like it in the bottle because it's too carbonated. I, I prefer it in a can or a fountain. So like that, when I'm enjoying it. So if it's just for medicinal purposes, a bottle is good because it still does the trick, but I don't like it as much. It's not as tempting for me. I just need to cut it out. You'll do it. I believe in you. I know. I have before on multiple occasions. This is a lifelong addiction. And it all, like the thing that always does it for me is the ice cream tea, which does the caffeine. Addicted at the time. And that helps me with the, you know, with the bubble issue. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Hold on. What did I do it here? CEO says, no judgment i get it wait i'm a former coca-cola addict would you say you were a coke addict we all knew what you meant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 all know <laughs> i say that too though i'll be like i'm a coke addict and people like wait wait hold on <laughs> no judgment carol that's awesome i use facebook business suite that just started recently now i can do my instagram post too you just save me so much time every week yeah i got you Yay. All right. Yes, Carol Brown, I get the 20 ounce bottle only one per week. JC, you're my hero. I'm so proud of you. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right? We are. I tell you, girl, we're sisters. Okay. So uh, I'm going to have to do it, right? You guys need to give me crap if I'm if I'm on the stream and I'm drinking a Coke. You're not going to show us that you're drinking it. You're going to wait until the camera's off. No, I can't. I'm not, mm, I'm mm, not sneaky. I'm not mm, sneaky. Mm. <laughs> My, I'm not sneaky. Tell us. be like, I'm drinking Coke today, guys. I know. I'll just confess right away. And then you'll okay. go. Okay. Yeah. All right, no. all right. If you confess, I'll believe you. Yeah. No, I'll do it. I'll, I, I'm not sneaky about it. Okay. I'm right up front with the fact that I'm addicted to Coke. Yeah. Oh, oh Lisa, I love you. I, thank you. I love you, too. Uh, yeah. I have been drinking, which is probably um, not terrible for me. So maybe I can substitute this. I have been drinking a little pink drink from Starbucks, which I it's coconut milk and strawberries. And um, it's not super, it's not very sweet, uh, but I kind of love it. I have not tried it yet. I guess I should try it at some point. It's pretty good. I like. I I do not need to pick up a Starbucks habit, but like I said, I'm trying to find some substitution that will get me off of the hard stuff. And by the hard stuff, I mean Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. All right. JC says, how different is a Facebook business suite from, say, boosting a post or doing a Facebook ad? I boosted one of my posts this past week as a test, so I need to know before I go on to use it further. Uh, is that a question that you want me to answer or you? I don't want to answer because I don't use the Facebook abusement. That's not even a word. Business suite. Can you answer that question? Who can answer yeah. that? 
I can't answer the question. Um, so as a writer, from my standpoint, the only time boosting a post is going to do you any good is if you have a box set. That's it. Um, anything that's more than two books. So it has to be three or whatever, um, or and it has to be something on discount. So if you're having a sale on your book set, that's really the only time to do it. If you try and do it for kind of like, look, it's me and my puppy, people are going to wonder why they are seeing this when they've never actually seen you before. And that's not really the, the reaction that you want. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say that it's not beneficial to you right now until you have something of a package value to give out. So. Good advice. Or Good if you're me and you're trying to find workers, you're going to post the help wanted ad. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Theo says, we'll know if she's on the Coke wagon, Carol. At least it's not loopy and the stream is running smoothly. She's been sipping on something. Oh, my. <laughs> True. True. Ooh. There we go. Heather is going to do half sweet, half non-sweet iced tea when I go to restaurants. Want to drink that more than coffee this summer for sure. I am fortunate. I do love some sweet tea because, you know, I have those southern roots. But, um, and also, I heart sugar. Uh, <laughs> But I will say my favorite tea is an unsweetened ice cream tea that I make. Like it's not even like a, I'm not buying a bottled tea or anything like that. So it's just good green tea. And um, I really like that. So that's kind of my thing. Like once I get back on that, get off the Coke, Coca-Cola, then I'm okay. So you can ask me what I'm drinking at any time during any stream and make me show you what I'm drinking. I'll be like, yeah. I have to have like a giant thing of the tea though. Accountability, right? Yes, that's exactly right. We got you. Okay, JC said she boosted a post on my Facebook author page, but it was a YouTube video about the launch of my Teespring store. What? Hold on, JC. You you launched a Teespring store? How did I miss that? Are you, hold on, are you a wrench? Let's see. Yes, you are. Oh. Throw a link up, girl. Let's have it. I was going to say, you missed it because you're not on Facebook. <laughs> I know, right? That's it. <laughs> Thank you, CO Savvy. I appreciate the support. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. You could be, what do they call it? Oh, we're, um, in AA, you're a sponsor. We'll be each other's sponsors. <laughs> we'll be each other's Coca-Cola sponsors. That's what we need. Uh, JC says, so you're saying only use it for books, for Facebook boosts. So from my friend who uses it, she says that she's only seen it been worthwhile if she's got a box set. And then if you actually, um, not in this book, but Rachel Aaron actually posted a whole bunch of analytics about her trying to use various services to increase her sales. And she found that trying to boost anything on um, her Facebook page didn't yield anything unless it came with a package deal. So... Um, I think if you want to get more people to your Teespring, though, getting the sample, um, getting the sample social media stuff from it, um, is and putting it on Instagram once a week is probably going to do you a lot better because it will have the visibility and all the other stuff, and you won't bombard everybody by having like you know buy buy buy. Um, usually, when I was more active on Instagram, I would have what I call Market Monday. And that's where I was either trying to promote, uh, you know, one of the shirts in my store or it was like um, a short story or something. So a short story or something. You heard it. Yeah. You heard it here first. Thank you, JC. Hold on. I'm going to put this in my notes feature. I know. Wait, so useful. Can I, can I edit this? Hold on. I'm going to put it in the um, description too. Hold on. Oh, that's very nice of you. And for something like that, um, I almost would imagine Want that a uh, try again, Sky. I almost, I almost imagine that a a Facebook ad would work better than a boost uh, boosted post, actually, um, because p boosted posts don't get as much visibility on Facebook anymore as they used to, because Facebook is really pushing like group stuff now, um, and ads. They're pushing ads and group stuff specifically, so. From everyone I've talked to, a boosted post is you're you're not going to get much audience from that at all. Um, but you know what? You could do uh, like you can do a um, a boosted post on Instagram, and you might get especially with pictures of different things from the shop. 
Mm -hmm. That might be something that kind of works. Okay, I am just added that down to the mm -hmm. description. So I want to see, hold on. She says, oh, you guys are the best ever. Um, all right, so I want to know, let me go back to this. Hold on here. So I just tried to do like the little at thing where you can link to a channel. And for some reason it wouldn't let me link. And I just want to make sure I'm following everybody. I'm positive I am, but let me check. Maybe not. Oop, hold on. Oh, I have to do it a different way. All right. Anyway. Are you trying Very to good. To you know what? In this description? It was what? Yeah, you see, you can do a little at and it will pull things up. But for me, I get weird ones sometimes, like where it doesn't pull up everybody that I'm following. And I'm not quite sure why. Maybe you have to be subscribed. I think they changed it. Yeah. I heard that they were going to change it so that the only ones you could do, like actually physically tag, were those who have over a thousand subscribers. Really? I'm wrong about that, though. That's rude. That is rude. That is rude. All right. Well, so that could be interesting because I don't have Instagram. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> uh, maybe you want to start one or not. Or you could do the pictures in, on Facebook. I'd be like, oh, my gosh, check out this adorable thing. Of course, I'm the worst at Facebook, so do not take any advice from me. Just want to say that. Uh, CO Savvy says, your words do matter. T-shirt speaks to me, girl. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what was rude, doll? <laughs> was it me? It's, an, it's right. the next oh, thing. It hasn't popped okay. up yet. I shouldn't restrict the tagging stuff. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, I'm going to check it out uh, right after we do this. But as you guys know, I cannot do two things at once. Speaking of doing two things at once, do you guys notice it's 10 o'clock and we're supposed to end? I was going to mention it to you. I was like, it's that time. It is that time. I, You guys are always so much fun that it, we just go on for seven years. But we cannot because we must get up in the morning and write. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Did, so let's go around. Did you, were you guys like productive? Do you feel like you made a good dent in what you wanted to on your planners today? Or was it just a nice uh, gab fest for... No, I got... I got done what I wanted to do, so um, I finished the I am page, so I got that all filled out. Good job. For my, for my reference later, and then I finished setting up my agenda pages for the rest of the year, and then since we start talking about meal planning and stuff like that, I went and started looking for like other recipes that I can oh, switch out. Good for um, you. Very I'm nice. Trying. I also got done what I needed to get done because I had not done my sort of big goals for June and my purpose statement and I hadn't gotten all my um, tracking of like Goodreads, BookBub, etc. And so I did got all that taken care of and I did vacation stickers galore on my vacation pages. Actually, I didn't do it. I'm sure there's room for more. So I'm happy about that. How about you, Skye? I got caught up to May, and I am now in June, which means I will be caught up probably by the end of today, and I will be very happy with that, so I'm okay. Yay! Yay. Stuff down the in the class. Very nice. Very <laughs> nice. JC says, no, it can't be time to go already. And it Sia is. Sia says, says, these planning sessions are like a collective from my soul. Oh, thank you so much. I love this. Oh, JC says, I totally agree. Me too. Me too. You guys are super, super awesome. I love that everybody. It's so fun. So, all right, let's go around really fast and do little throws. Although this crowd knows us really well. So, um, Sky, you want to go first? Anybody who doesn't know you, sure. tell them about you. Sure. My name is Sky. I write paranormal romance and named sd Hagus. i should be having some videos coming out soon i've been kind of on an un unintentional hiatus but uh that's actually why the tripod's behind me is because i got a brand new tripod and i was going to film some videos today and just never got around to it so uh, <laughs> tomorrow i'll be filming Yay. videos that's awesome so, thank, you. thank you so much for being here i'm so excited tarot tell us a little 
Hi, my name is Kira Brown. I am an urban fantasy author and the owner of Mad Raptor Productions. I came here today, worked my planner, got that done. Um, I have been in hermit mode since January, um, but I am going to try really hard to get a video out on YouTube this week. So I'm going to try really hard. Yay. Mm. All right, wait like that. All right, very good job. Doll says, I was late, but happy to catch the session. I am so glad that you made it, Doll. You are so sweet. And then Ward says, be blessed and have a lovely week to all. Thank you very much. You too. I'm Lisa Daly. I'm a traditionally published uh, author of romantic comedies, if you don't already know that. <laughs> and I'm going to, I think I'm going to, well, first of all, got my rights back to two of my books. And so I'm going to put those bad girls out this year do it That's do it now right yeah. i'm excited and mm Moore says hashtag roar hashtag bad raptor daisy said i love you guys thanks for such an awesome stream we love you too that is a perfect perfect thing to end on nl heiser says thanks for this planner o rama y'all stay safe thank you for being here i'm so glad you made it reach out to us and tell us about your planner because i want to hear more about it all yeah. right everybody we love you we will see you next month our next boozy planorama put it in your planner is gonna be what i don't even know what month we're in uh we're in June right now so it would be in july oh the wait hold on we Ooh. might have to do last uh, we might have to do last week of June because the first Sunday in July is July 4th. Yeah, so we could do it on the 27th. I'm cool with that. Are you guys good with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah? Okay. June 27th, Boozy Planner Orama. That's good. It's what's well, three weeks away. We'll do it. All right. The Boozy P coming up on June 27th. Stickers and liquor. That's and then, right. Then that should be on my my channel yeah. that day. Yes. Okay. Next time it'll be on Caro's channel. So, all right. That's right. Liquor and stickers. That's how we are. That's how we roll here. Okay, guys. So June twenty seventh, eight p.m. Eastern. We will see you for our July boozy planner orama. It'll be uh okay. Cool. All right. Fantastic. Boozy P merch. Oh, we should totally do that. I feel like we that's should. a good, all right. I feel like it's a very I know, right? Hmm, that feels like a, <laughs> that feels like a good idea. All right, guys. Have an awesome weekend and we love you and we will see you next month. All right. Bye everybody. Thanks for being here today.